Welcome to this video. Today we will be testing the free version of Kaspersky Antivirus. And I do have a folder of samples here of malware. We've got 20 in total. And so we're going to test to see how well Kaspersky does or does not as far as protecting us against these samples. So just a brief overview of the procedure. I'm going to, in a moment, enable Kaspersky and let it sit for just a moment to see if it detects anything after which I will then run a full system scan and then scan the folder directly. And then if there's any samples left after that, we will try to execute them and see if Kaspersky can successfully stop them. A couple important notes. First off, Windows 10 is up to date as well as Kaspersky is also up to date. And I did enable and turn on Kaspersky and I did not run a scan. And on its own, it detected multiple results and so Let's actually check our samples folder here. It looks like it detected most, and it looks like it actually detected all of the uh, samples of malware, so that's really good. Now, a couple of things I should uh, point out. We're gonna minimize this for just a moment. If I go to settings, I just left everything on the default settings. I did not change anything. You will notice that you can change uh, the settings for scanning to high if you need to do so, or low. Again, I did not run a scan. All I did is enable Kaspersky and it detected all the samples on its own. Now, normally at this point, we run a scan and then try to execute the remaining samples. But in this case, everything was detected before we even got to that point. And because we didn't have to try to execute anything, there's no need to run additional second opinion scans because everything's been quarantined. So it looks like Kaspersky did a very good job in this test. Please keep in mind that this does not automatically mean that Kaspersky is the best antivirus available. This is just one type of malware test. There are many, many different types of malware tests that you have to perform. But in this specific situation, Kaspersky did very good. I'm also aware that there is a lot of concern about this Kaspersky product because it's from a company in Russia. And those are legitimate concerns, but I should point out that if you think Russia is the only country that does that, you're being very, very naive. The honest truth is that many countries are involved in that. So would I recommend Kaspersky at this point? Probably not, but just keep in mind that Russia is not the only country that is involved in trying to exploit antivirus software. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.